All right, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, which is the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son. All right, uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to say peace and blessings to the elect, okay? Um, this is the Brother Atazari from the GMS Houston camp with another little quick lesson. Um, I was just just basically looking up a... a uh, a back backdrop for this for this uh, lesson I was gonna do, which was actually on hate, but um, which would I was just gonna do like a little part two to the first one I made, you know, because hate is through the scriptures, you know, but um, I came across this quote from George Orwell, and it says, "Truth, it's the new hate speech during times of universal deceit." And shit, it's definitely universal deceit going on, okay? Everybody's being deceived by the so-called white man who's in rulership because he's the one that's running everything. You read the book of Job, the ninth chapter, and the 34th, 34th verse, it says, you know, the hand, the, the, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, okay? So... The ones that's in power, they're deceiving everybody. This is this this is it's a worldwide deceit. Okay, it says during times of universal deceit, telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act. The word revolutionary comes from the word revolt. So you're going against the the so-called establishment. Okay, so you're going against Esau's agenda. When you're telling the truth. Now. What made me go into this. Initially was. It was a guy. That walked by the camp. Was filming. Okay he was across the street. He really didn't even know what he was talking about. He just saw a group of. So called Negroes. And <laughs> one Latino. And. Uh, he was like. Y'all keep preaching that hate. You know. When he may have heard, he may have heard a few snippets, but that's neither here nor there. The point is, is what he said. Y'all keep preaching that hate, okay? The thing is, we're preaching truth through the power and the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, okay? What entails truth? Shit. Hate is truth. Love is truth. Okay? That all go in... It, the truth is the truth. <laughs> Shit. A spade is a spade. You know, people have heard that saying. They don't apply it. Under the banner of being politically correct and not wanting to hurt anybody's feelings. Okay? When your feelings are causing you to do something totally wicked. And your feelings should be hurt. You should be embarrassed, rebuked. For the wickedness that you're doing. And the scriptures tell you to spare not. So it's not about how you feel. It's about the law, statutes, and commandments that the Heavenly Father set up. Okay? And being here in this godless society, you know, y'all don't want to hear it. Y'all don't want to hear the truth. <laughs> really, y'all like being in bondage. Y'all do. Because the truth is what makes you free. Y'all don't even want to hear the truth. Y'all are ignorant to the truth. Okay? So, I'm going to read a, a scripture. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, which, you know, our brothers are familiar with. I'm going to read verse 1, and I'm going to jump to verse 8 in the uh, third chapter. It says, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Okay? Verse 8. A time to love and a time to hate. Okay? It's a balance. There's love, man. There's hate, man. Y'all hate love. You know? And really are hypocrites. Because you're saying not to hate, but you're hating love. This is the true love, man. That we follow after the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shah. And y'all hate that. 
Okay? But back to what this guy George Orwell said. During times of universal deceit, telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act. All right? So by us telling the truth, we're revolting. Okay? And what did George Bush say? Whoever's not with us is against us. So we're being, we're being looked at like that. Okay? And we come into the times that we, you know, we're going to really be getting demonized. So brothers stay strong. All right? You know, I ain't going to go on and on. It, you know, brothers that solid and those that may be coming into this, you know, this is part of it, man. You know? Think it not strange, the fiery trial. Hey, man, we finna go through it. This is it. We at the end. This is, We finally there. You know? All this stuff is, is popping off, man. It's, I mean, shit. Every time I wake up, it's something. Shit. Yeah. I think, uh, was that Germany? Another attack, you know, at a, at a McDonald's. <laughs> See? You shouldn't be eating that shit. You know? Just joking, but you know, hey man, every time you turn around, somebody's laying it down. Shit, Lord willing, it'll be something even bigger tomorrow. Okay, you know, it is the world is in, in chaos, like that song, I believe that's the Temptations, uh, Ball of Confusion. Okay, you know, but we being demonized for telling the truth, and that's a revolutionary act, man. In the time of universal deceit. Okay. Like I said. I'm going to keep it short. You know. And. Uh, you know. With that man. I'm going to just say. You know. All praise and glory. To Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles. And the elders. A great millstone. And peace and blessings. To the to the elect man. You know. To the next time. Shalom.